Good evening, Acadiana. I'm Britt LaFasso. Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with a developing story. A child is dead and two Lafayette police officers are in the hospital after a shooting early this morning. A woman and another child were also injured. News 10's Bailey Liebert was at the scene all morning. She brings us up to date on the investigation and what happened. Brid, here's what we know right now. Lafayette police initially responded to a fight at a home on South General Marshall Street just after two this morning. As officers spoke with the believed parties in the fight, a suspect opened fire. Two officers shot multiple times. At last check, both are listed in stable condition at a local hospital. One child was also pronounced dead, and one woman and child were critically injured. The Lafayette Parish Sheriff's Office is now in charge of the investigation. The suspect who was a part of the altercation exchanged, uh, decided to exchange gunfire with our officers. Um, he struck two of our officers at that point in time. Detective Ken Handy with Lafayette Police tells News 10 two officers were struck multiple times by gunfire from the suspect. A third officer rushed to their aid and returned fire on the suspect. An additional officer who was responding to the scene observed the suspect do so and elected to exchange gunfire with that subject. Police say after the suspect was subdued, they discovered more shooting victims. It was later determined that there were three additional victims involved in this incident. According to the Lafayette Parish Sheriff's Office, a woman and two children were also shot. One of the children later died at the hospital. The neighborhood around the shooting is shocked at what happened. News 10's Renee Allen talked with one neighbor about how tragic this was. It's just heartbreaking when we see this happen, no matter what neighborhood it is. Yes, it is. It's very heartbreaking. You know, and uh, the guy, you know, he's from the neighborhood. You know, he used to hang out at the little store right there. And, uh, you know, three hours last night. It was terrible. Lafayette Police tells us the suspect was later taken into custody and is currently receiving medical treatment at a local hospital. When the suspect is medically cleared, they will be booked into the Lafayette Parish Jail. The Lafayette Parish Sheriff's Office is in charge of the investigation. They're asking anyone with photos, videos, or information to contact their office. Bailey Liebert, KLFY News 10. Thank you, Bailey. A Lafayette Parish Councilman is speaking out about the deadly shooting. Councilman A.B. Rubin says though the victims of the shooting were not his family members, it is still a heartbreaking situation for the community and something that should not be taken lightly. First word I got about this, it was hard wrenching. I don't even know the family, but they, they are family. And we've lost someone in our community, and that's not a good thing. Ruben says he hopes this tragedy brings awareness to something big in the community that needs to be paid attention to. Funeral